Welcome to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up for the week of July 28th to August 3rd. The selectmen have decided to interview three more candidates for the town administrator's job. The public interviews will take place next Wednesday at the Somerset Public Library starting at 6 p.m. Selectman Chair Alan Smith said he could not reveal the names of the candidates at this time. The selectmen have interviewed five candidates for the job so far and offered the job to three of them, but they have all declined. The three candidates that the selectmen will interview next week were provided by Municipal Resources Incorporation, which has been assisting the town with the town administrator search. Somerset Berkeley Regional High School teacher James Burke is one of 59 teachers from across the country to be honored as an outstanding Project Lead the Way teacher. Burke teaches a cybersecurity class and a computer science essentials class in the Project Lead the Way program. He has been a teacher at Somerset Berkeley Regional High School for three years. The selectmen on Wednesday voted to approve a letter of support for a 120-unit apartment complex that will include 25% 40B housing. The selectmen explained during the meeting that because the town has less than the 10% affordable housing that the state wants, the state could come back and approve the project if the town rejects it. The difference between affordable housing and Section 8 housing was also explained at the meeting because the selectmen said there has been some confusion over that issue. It was explained that Section 8 housing is for lower incomes than 40B housing, and there also is no governmental assistance involved with 40B housing, where the rents are based on 30% of 80% of the median income in the area. The apartments have been proposed for the site where the Fairfield Marriott Hotel is located on Route 6. Selectman Chair Alan Smith said at Wednesday's meeting that he is concerned about the number of past due bills to the water and sewer departments. The overdue bills range anywhere from $80 to $13,000. Some residents have not paid their water and sewer bills for years. Smith said the list of people who are past due is 23 pages long. He said the combined amount of money that people in town owe to the water and sewer departments is about $1.5 million. He said everyone should have to pay their fair share of the water and sewer operations. Smith said liens could be put on properties that have overdue balances. Interim Town Administrator Michael Gallagher said that someone put something in a recycling bin that caused a load of 1.7 tons of recyclables to be rejected at a recycling plant in Avon. He said the town gets credits for its recyclables, but instead had to pay for that load because it was contaminated. He said people should know that they are affecting the taxes of other people in town by putting things in their recycling bins that they should not. There is a list of the, on the town's website about recyclables that are allowed in the bins. Gallagher has also talked about the issue at selectmen's meetings in the past and on a show for Somerset Access Television. The town clerk's office has scheduled in-person early voting for the upcoming state primary. The early voting will take place on Saturday, August 27th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and then from August 29th to September 2nd from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in the conference room at the town office building located at 140 Wood Street in Somerset. Youth Harper Cody has been creating digital prints of cats and dogs and selling them at the South Coast Open Air Market on Saturdays. She is in the Kid Biz section of the market. Harper is the granddaughter of well-known children's book illustrator and author Nancy Cody. The market is open from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. each Saturday. It is at the Arthur Chick Marshan Jr. Memorial Park on the first Saturday of the month and at the Slades Ferry Park on the rest of the Saturdays of the month. 
Thank you for tuning in to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up. We will see you next week with news from around Somerset.